And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. And there have been a ton of video games based on comics over the years. Unfortunately, many of them, despite how awesome they were, are so underrated and forgotten nowadays. So I made a list of 10 of my favorite superhero games that I believe deserve a remake or at least a remaster to get the best of what they had to offer. Plus, we need them back in the market, since the only way you can find all these now is by purchasing second-hand copies and even if you can find them, they usually lack many of their original features because of server shutdowns that restrict you from downloading DLC or playing in online mode. So, with no further ado, let's start. Number 10. Green Lantern – Rise of the Manhunters Well, that's a game I suppose you didn't expect to see here and possibly didn't even know existed, but hear me out. This game was supposed to be a tie-in to the movie, but it has nothing to do with it, apart from the fact that the Green Lantern in this game is Hal Jordan. And it's not like it has a masterpiece of a story, but the reason why I like this game so much is because of how well the ring is used. Like, you get many unique constructs that you never get bored of using and all have different animations. Plus, a second player can take control of Sinestro, so the co-op mode makes it even more fun because you get to play with friends. And to be honest, it's not perfect, but overall, it's everything I wanted from a Green Lantern game. Number 9. Justice League Heroes it's not such a well-known game, but if you've played Marvel Ultimate Alliance, you probably recognize what kind of game it is. It's an action RPG in which two players can take control of some of the most well-known members of the Justice League in a story written by the phenomenal Dwayne McDuffie. It's really fun to play because the unique moves and abilities of each hero are adapted perfectly in the game, and after playing a bit, you get to choose which heroes you'll be using and what costume they'll be wearing. DC fans will have a great time teaming up Plus and Green Lantern or Batman and Superman, and since it's a two-player game, playing with friends makes it even more enjoyable. My only issue is the smaller roster of heroes you can play as, so it would really benefit from a remake with a bigger roster, cause it would be awesome to see a larger variety of characters. Number 8. Ghost Rider Another movie tie-in which was surprisingly really good. Yes, it really seems like a copy of God of War sometimes, but does it matter? It's so fun to play as Ghost Rider, slaying demons and using his iconic Penance Stare, but he wouldn't exactly be a Ghost Rider without his bike, so what's even better is that in between each level you need to ride the motorcycle to get to the next location, which is just so awesome. You also get some skins and another playable character, Blade. Trust me, if they ever remastered to this game, I'd buy it day one. But I would like some better moves for Blade. Number 7. The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction This is just how a Hulk game should be. You can wreak as much havoc as you want, destroy anything you want, even civilians, and you literally feel like the Hulk, because you are extremely powerful but not necessarily unstoppable. Give this game better graphics and you get the perfect Hulk game. Number 6. X-Men Mutant Academy it's been a long time since the last superhero fighter game we got and the X-Men Academy trilogy was just so good. You can play against friends as your favorite mutants, like Wolverine, Storm or Gambit, and even villains like Magneto, using all of their iconic powers. So imagine a newer and better version of this game, with better graphics and an expanded character roster that includes more mutants and possibly more locations. Wouldn't that be awesome? However, I think we are getting a Marvel and Capcom arcade collection, so we'll have to settle for that for now. Number 5. The Punisher Warning, this is not suitable for younger viewers. Where do I even start? This game was exactly what a Punisher game should be. It was brutal and gory with a ton of different ways to kill enemies. And it wasn't just your standard shooter. Yes, you got some pretty basic weapons, but the action doesn't stop there. You can interrogate enemies with various ways to give you information or use them as freaking human shields. There are also different ways to kill them based on your environment. Not to mention that Thomas Jane, who also played Punisher in the movie, does a great job voicing the character making it feel even more like Punisher. In general, this was the perfect adaptation of the character and really reminded me of the Max series for those who've read it. Number 4. X-Men Origins Wolverine I don't like saying the same stuff over and over again, but man, did this make me feel like Wolverine. Don't let the title fool you, this game might be another movie tie-in, but it was so much better than the movie itself. 
all the different mechanics and combat moves are just phenomenal, making for an amazing gameplay experience that made a great use of all of Wolverine's powers. Even his healing factor was perfectly adapted because even though you are practically immortal, you still have your limits. Definitely one of the best superhero games ever made that deserves a remaster. Plus, with Deadpool and Wolverine coming soon, a DLC with Deadpool as a playable character would make it even better. Number 3. X-Men Legends and Marvel Ultimate Alliance I've gotta be honest, I like the Wolverine game way more than this, but the thing is that Wolverine is already near perfect, while this would benefit way more from a remaster or remake. Both titles are action RPGs similar to Justice League Heroes, although X-Men Legends actually came first. The unique powers of each hero, the different costumes, the fun of playing along friends, and an engaging story result to a great gaming experience. You can really see the love for Marvel Comics in these games, as they are the perfect introduction to the Marvel Universe for people who haven't read the comics. Though it does get repetitive sometimes, the character roster is just so good that just makes you want to keep going. The way I imagine a remake is a bundle with all four Marvel RPGs with the ability to use characters from every game in all titles. Number 2. Batman Arkham Origins Such an underrated game and the only Arkham game that never got a remaster, which is a real same. Yes, it didn't bring anything new or innovative in the franchise, reusing elements from the previous games, but these things weren't even bad in the first place, like all the gadgets, free flow combat, stealth missions, etc. And to be honest, the story of this game is probably the best of the franchise, featuring the origin of the Joker and a bit more focus on Bruce Wayne. The game also had a competitive online mode that isn't available anymore because of server shutdown, so should this game be remastered, the multiplayer feature could be revived. Number 1. Spider-Man Saturday Dimensions and Edge of Time Definitely two of the best Spider-Man games ever made. Saturday Dimensions and Edge of Time were so fun to play because they allow you not to play with just one, not two, but four versions of Spider-Man. Okay, just two in Edge of Time, but in Saturday Dimensions these four Spider-Man are not just different skins with the same abilities. Each one has his own skills, his own combos and his own special attacks. Amazing Spider-Man is strong and agile with web-based attacks. Noir's gameplay is based on stealth, Ultimate uses the symbiote that makes him more brutal, and 2099 is a futuristic take on the character that uses his accelerated vision to make time seem slower. The story was so good, and each level featured different versions of iconic Spider-Man villains. The levels were so well made, they never felt repetitive, and all the boss fights weren't just the basic puns and dodge if you know what I mean. The sequel, Edge of Time, had an even better story, written by one of my favorite comic book writers, Peter David. And even though you could only play as two Spider-Man instead of four this time, and the gameplay often felt repetitive, it still was an amazing experience. Just imagine a bundle with both of these games, plus an online mode that allows you to play with friends as all four Spider-Man at the same time. These are definitely the games I want to see remastered the most. Honorable Mention – Spawn Armageddon Hear me out, I know this game sucks, but I still think that the Spawn game could work if done right. Like, if they improve the animations in Armageddon or include a larger variety of abilities, I'm sure the game would be awesome, because as a concept, it's really cool. Well, these are the top 10 games I want to see remastered or remade for newer consoles. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button and allow all notifications. And I'd like to add that this is just my opinion, so feel free to disagree and express your own opinion in the comments. Is there any other game you'd like to see remastered? Well, until the next time, goodbye true believers!